All right, so <clears throat> welcome everybody. Real quick, uh, my name is Scott Engler. I am a um, LinkedIn specialist with professional branding, networking strategy. I help people um, optimize their LinkedIn um, primarily for job search strategies, career development, and business development. So what I wanted to touch on really, really quick here, um, I did a video earlier on creating a company page um, after they made the changes in this year, this is 2017, and with the new user interface. And um, while I was doing the company page uh, tutorial, I realized when I was showing one of the features of a showcase page, which I think is, is a really incredible feature specific on a LinkedIn company page that will really help um, companies with their um, online presence, with their branding, and they're you know attracting whatever they're trying to do um, to you know for a brand awareness attract you know the types of candidates that align with them or um, you know maybe partnerships whatever it may be uh, I, I realized that when I showed the showcase page I didn't actually see show <clears throat> I showed how to get there but I didn't show how to set it up and what it looks like so that's what this video is going to be about um, so I'm already on the company profile page. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna link uh, the first video I had so you could kind of see like if you were wanting to know how to create a company page to begin with and what that looked like and how to get there. Um, that's all covered in the first video. So for this video, I really just wanted to show um, what it looks like setting up a showcase page and then that what follows from there. So to get to the option, for a showcase page. Right now I'm on my own company page. And so I do go to admin tools. So it says create a showcase page. Now, when I was talking in the video, uh, my first video, I think, you know, based on what LinkedIn describes the benefits are for a showcase page and what, um, what the best things to use a showcase page for, um, I use an example like Virgin Airlines they have tons of different subsectors of their company. They have nonprofit sectors. They have, you know, they're obviously a global company. They have charity foundations. So if you're a company and you have something that's ongoing like that, uh, and it obviously is a different component of the main services and brand of your company, that's what's perfect for a showcase page. So again, like if you're Virgin Airlines, right, their main component, or their main brand, what they do is their airline, uh, but you know they obviously have so many different subsectors of their company that are doing amazing things. So it's a great way to show people what else their company does, how they give back to the community, ways to engage other people. I think it's also an amazing um, thing to set up for um, you know attracting the right types of employees, uh, investments, anything. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So you create a showcase page. So let's say it was Virgin, you know, Airlines. We're gonna use it as an example. So we'd say their nonprofit would be Branson United, would be a nonprofit sector. I forgot, they actually do have nonprofit sectors. I don't remember the names of them, but we're just gonna say Bran Branson United is a charity organization in the company. So all I would do, and then look, it's just nice, nice clean URL. I go to create page. And then it's, it's honestly the same exact setup from what I've seen as a, uh, your regular page. But it's like, if anybody has experience, I can't speak for other website platforms, but I know WordPress, it's like you have a parent, what's called a parent, and then you have like the other components that you link to the parent. So your company company is the parent page. This would be um, a subsector of the parent of your company page. So then, you know, if it was Branson United, it'd say like, okay, just, you know, had event in Haiti where we, you know, provided food and medical supplies for 2 million people, something like that. It's a great way to like show pictures of what they're doing um, to help people. So this would be great on your, on your um, showcase page. And it's an ongoing way to show other aspects of your company and what you're doing. So that's really, it's, everything is the same as your parent company page, but this is a way to showcase 
a subsector of it. And then when you, you know, when you create it, like, like I have, <clears throat> when you go back to your main profile, when you go down here, so, cause I've already created, I don't know why it's not showing my other one. Maybe I haven't published it. Let me see something. Um, I think I need to, might need to overview it. Let's see. Well, I'm not going to get into all that right now because it's the same way you set up a company, your actual company page. But when I, I have a showcase page that I created, so where it pops up is down here. So this is my company page, right? And I created, I actually created a showcase page myself. So then um, I would just click on that and that's how you could access it. And I haven't done anything with it other than just create it just to, to see how to do it for functionality components. Like I've been clear on the first video, my um, experience with doing company pages and how to run them is, is very, very novice. Um, my, my whole background and what I've done is, has been on personal profiles, but I've gotten a lot more uh, inquiries about company pages in the last few months. So I'm learning some of the ways and the features of it, but it's a highly complex, highly complex thing. So yeah, I just want to show you guys how to get there. Um, just really quick, I'm wondering if, how people would see it on your actual company page. So if someone was visiting, let's just see something real quick while, while we're here. Well, this is when I go into edit mode. I'm just going to try something really quick so we can see. Okay, so if I'm going from an outsider. So that's interesting. Yeah, I wonder how people would find your showcase page unless you kind of maybe linked it. Let's see. Yeah, I don't I, I don't know that component yet. That's interesting. But the point is that you could actually create one and then you could access it. My guess is you're just gonna post it, right? So if you're on here, you would post it you would say we're part of, you know, we're part of Virgin Atlantic, it's in the same town. So then when you post it, you know, it's like, obviously you just wanna make it do a good job, just from my understanding right now, of how it's linked to Virgin, you know, Virgin United. So you would want to, I would recommend, obviously putting that it's a subsector of Virgin Airlines here in the company description. I would tag Virgin Airlines um, when you post, right? So people would understand and they're not confused. And that's just based on my limited understanding right now of showcase pages. But I did want to show you guys this. I hope this is helpful. Again, if you are looking for um, help with your employer branding and whatnot, uh, please reach out to me, Scott Engler, E-N-G-L-E-R, uh, on LinkedIn. I'm in Corvallis, Oregon. And uh, right now I'm currently um, speaking to other people about just having a team um, that, you know, focuses on uh, SEO and LinkedIn ads and all sorts of different components so I could better assist companies with their branding and specifically on their, their company page. Uh, my my um, email is buildingyourownbrand at gmail.com. I'll just show you guys real quick. Uh, let's see, chat. So building your own, building your own brand at gmail.com. 
So that's, you can email me for any serious inquiries um, about help with your employer branding. I'd be happy to discuss what that, what that would look like. And, um, you know, hopefully with the team I'm putting together, we'll be able to take care of many of the components uh, to help you be successful. So that's, that's all I got and enjoy.